You already know this, motherfuckers. She must have loved as always, Donald Peasley. Alongside of LaShawn. It's another great, sh sh another great, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. It's the coffee. Um, it's another great day. Shout out to all you have to like and comment and subscribe. I'm doing everything I do every week. We do appreciate y'all. Facts, facts. Um, we're currently at Rick Ross's house right now. Um, <laughs> I apologize. We don't have the Bel Air available. The good brother said he don't have it. So we're just here chilling. Um, life is beautiful. Mm. Life is precious. Mm. Um, it's been a hot summer. Mm. Due to the pandemic, we have seen people come outside that haven't been outside in um, a year and change. They were acting like fucking heathens. I'm still um, inside. For now. I don't know. For, for now. a very long time. I don't think I'm used to this. <laughs> like this I, new, I like this. This new life. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The time of, the shut, the, the time of this, this recording, they're about to shut down um, the world again. As they should. <laughs> and I seen a meme earlier. They say, if they do another shutdown, I'm going to come out a millionaire or something. Oh, Miss Hardy. <laughs> yeah, shout out to, to, shout out to like, <laughs> Bro, yeah, I felt that. Nah, for real. For real. The As stock going to drop. I'm going to yeah. pile up. Yeah. And then it's going to pop again. And then I'll, I should be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Moderna's going to go up. I just thought about that. Moderna and Pfizer are going to go up. You have, you have stock in both? I have stock in Moderna. Nice. I like that. Part of my left. Thanks. <laughs> I've been hanging out here, man, but, um, shit. I don't know, man. What's going on today, LA? What's going on? Nice outfit, brother. Thank you, brother. You know. <laughs> they can dress like Wien. You know. Yeah, Wien. I got my clocks. <laughs> you know. Bon Man, Yachty. Bro, why you got to do, bro? Use your Beijing accent. <laughs> and they go, what they go? Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Bro, chill out. You got to <laughs> Fling, you got fling your shoulders, bro. I ain't dislocating my and then, shit for you. And then, and then they do the one with the foot. I don't know. I ain't never seen that one before. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's just okay. You're right. Yeah, nigga, you haven't been outside, so how the fuck you know that? This nigga watching Twitter. Nigga back on Twitter don't know how to act. This <laughs> nigga tripping. So, you know, the clocks give me life, bro. You know, but, you know, I do, I, you know, I would like to say that, uh. I don't know. As far as podcasters go, mm -hmm. I, I would think mm -hmm. I'm one of the best well-dressed Yeah, I give you that, yeah. Podcasters, you, you know, one of the jiggiest, mm -hmm. you know. When it comes to the kiff, mm -hmm. I'm not sure there's too many people who, you We're know. A kiff, yeah. It's me and Ronnie. But yeah. some would say, mm -hmm. that's a little narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you knew this, this was coming. Nut. <laughs> you knew this was coming. Come mm -hmm. on, it's me. <laughs> but there's a couple of things Don't do. I've heard that's the big money that's big money right Look there time, boy, ain't nothing in there boy my bills paid I this shit goes off for you right now I paid everything this morning facts but yes I tell you. I've heard a lot of things in life mm -hmm. stush mm -hmm. standoffish mm -hmm. you know <laughs> and after the list goes on and after a while it doesn't really bother you, mm -hmm. but I heard a word. Mm -hmm. You ever heard something and it made you look up the definition? Yeah. <laughs> what was the word that was used? Narcissist. Oh, narcissist. Okay. And I'm like, at first I got offended, but then I was like, wait, what the fuck does that even mean? Google the actual definition. I Google the word. So let's, let's Google the word. Cool, Torian know. said, what's up? Tell him I said, what's good? Tell nigga answer his phone on, on, on proper time. <laughs> Come on, Torian. Niggas go on, niggas go on vacation, don't know how to act. <clears throat> Fucking big ass Taurus. So, a person mm -hmm. who has excessive interest in mm -hmm. or adm admiration mm -hmm. of themselves. I can't admire myself. See? <laughs> I can't admire myself. Now, though. here, here's one of those things. I, I like even from New York to Atlanta, we still like Yeah, this. but I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> now, now. It's self-love, I can't. Naturally, it, I right? Myself. If I admire myself, mm -hmm. and I think that, I think highly of myself, mm -hmm. why is that such a negative thing? But mm -hmm. in the language and this is why words are important. Mm -hmm. The language that it was kind of used in, or the context, it was designed for it to be in a negative. Mm -hmm. So at first, when I read the definition, I'm like, 
Wow. <laughs> I do. I, I am trying to get to this level of self-love where I do <laughs> admire myself because, to be quite honest with you, I bought this new, uh, this new uh, scale, right? And it's digital, so it syncs with your phone. What's the scale called? Damn. Start with a B? Start with an A. Oh. Uh, it's yeah. called... Because <laughs> I got the same thing. Uh, Arbo Leaf. Okay. Right? So... <laughs> I got the same shit, though. The way the scale is designed, you stand on the scale, They right? show you your body mass. All, all of that. All the, body, the water yeah, intake. Yeah, yeah. I know. I got that shit in my shit, too. I got a different one. I so, love it. I love it. So, <laughs> and it tells you, like... So, when you first start it, it tells you, basically, you know, or it asks you... Your target weight. Your target weight. Mm -hmm. So, now... So now, it um, I say what my target weight is. Mm. It it tells me currently where I am, and it says obese. And I said, "Ouch!" That's <laughs> a it's a white man's um, <laughs> white man's skill. So basically, for a five seven mm. man in height, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Even though I'm from Atlanta, I'm still live from the 718, <laughs> okay? But 5'7", mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 216, mm -hmm. they're saying that's obese. Mm -hmm. So I look it up and I say, yo, where am I actually supposed to be? 170. No. 130? 157 is the max that I should be. Don, even in my prom, I was 168. I can't, I can't. I you can't. know what I'm saying? So a part of me felt like, as a man, you, 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 what I'm now learning is like when I do feel insecure, I mm -hmm. can try to hone that in. Mm -hmm. So my insecureness is like, it's peaking because it's like, oh, I'm looking at the shit, tell me I'm obese. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, Sean, you, you got to get back into the, into maybe a little bit more narcissistic, like mm -hmm. admiring yourself, loving yourself. Do you feel it though? When, do, when you, so do you feel obese though? Or did you feel obese when you saw that? It was a mental thing, because mm -hmm. now I'm thinking, because when you think of obesity, you think of like... Slug, the sluggish, shows, big, you can't, like you can't, you can barely get up out there. The 400s, mm -hmm. the, no offense to those, yeah. but that's mm -hmm. what, that, that, you know, those That's those what comes shows, to mind. Yeah, that's what came to mind. So I'm like, damn, I'm nowhere close to that. So speaking of Torian, I hit Torian up, because I remember Torian <laughs> losing like a 60 pounds <laughs> in two seconds. <laughs> nigga, ran, nigga ran the whole hall in one day. <laughs> nigga ran across New York, bro. <laughs> so... I'm asking Tori, you know, what do you, what did you do? And he was basically saying, you know, he upped his protein, cut out his carbs, and he drank a lot of water. So now I'm just pissing the holy fountain of youth. Yeah, that shit gets, you know what I'm saying? I, look how many times I pee today. Now, what time do you stop drinking water? Stop? I don't yeah. stop. You got to stop, boy. You ain't going to mess up your bladder. At a certain time, you know, you got to get him going to the bathroom. That's annoying. Sometimes you're in such a deep sleep, you're going to piss in the bed. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. I was this close to doing that one time, bro. Yeah, it's been a while somebody, since somebody was wet on me, so. <laughs> Yo, what? What's this guy's issue, dude? <laughs> but nah, nah, for real, though. So, mm -hmm. you know, essentially, what they were saying narcissist is, is somebody who, like, the world has to revolve around them. Mm -hmm. Right? And... When I try to look into more of the, the negative meaning of what that person could have probably meant, mm. I'm like, that doesn't relate to me because I don't feel that way. Mm. So that's important, right? But at the same time, when people call you something, how does it affect you? So I, I brought up the narcissist thing, but I also brought up like the digital app telling me I'm obese. Mm. So mm. when you hear those type of things about yourself, how do you feel about that? Mm. I know, you got to sit down and reflect, even mm. with the whole somebody calling you a narcissist. It's like, what have I actually done to be called this? Like, mm. if even if I'm being called a narcissist, <laughs> eight times out of ten, I'm in your in your in your um, situation. Eight times out of ten or nine times out of ten, depending on how you're feeling, you're looking out for the other person more than yourself sometimes. But do people really know that, or do you have to keep bringing that up? Because my and and I, me, the first thing I would say is like, yo, I look out for everybody. But mm. then it's like, yo, how many times do you have to defend yourself to people who don't even matter? Because the person mm. who said it, mm. bro, I could count on my one hand how many times I've actually engaged in a conversation. Mm. So why would that their opinion even matter? Mm -hmm. That's the now that's that's the point of you not gaining your own head. 
Because mm. at that point, it doesn't matter who says it, though. It could be a person that met you with three minutes. A three minute conversation could turn and say, nah, he's a, he's a narcissist. Like, I've been around people where the conversation, it's like those um, arguments you'll have with somebody. It's like, yo, the problem wasn't like, I'm, I'll have a problem with you. Why did you, why did you turn to a, a you thing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If people, are, that's, I, to me, that's a narcissist. Mm. That's narcissist. It's oh, it's always a revolve around you. Say like, my foot hurts. Yeah, I remember back back in '84, my foot started hurting. And, <laughs> bro, I didn't fucking, I didn't come here to talk about you. Let me vent. Like that. Mm. That's a narcissist to me. So can people have? So I feel like with a word like narcissist mm. or whatever, it's or actually whatever, pretty hurtful. Actually. Whatever words people label. Do you feel like people can have narcissistic moments and not just be labeled? Like, how do you label somebody? Like, for me to label you a narcissist. You would have to be like that at every time. At least twenty. That's twenty. That's like that's like that's like you being like instead of a let's go and get dark. Instead of a murderer, mm. you're a serial killer. Mm. Like you're doing it on the daily. Like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you wake up. Oh, how you feeling today? I need to kill something. Like, and it's not sexual. <laughs> like shit like that. Like you turn everything about you and everything legit yeah. revolves around you. It's not a one moment thing. Or it's like you know what? I'm always worrying about you guys. It's time for me to get my shine. Mm-hmm. But. Even that, it's like, I try not to even do that, and it kind of comes off like I'm, I'm kind of fucking myself over. What do you mean? I try not to be a narcissist to, to the point where I ask people how they're feeling. I don't want, I don't want you to ask me how I'm feeling. So you avoid people? I avoid people asking me how I'm doing. I just want to hear. Like, even with, like, Zodiac shit, like, there was one young lady back in, I forgot what, when it was, she was telling me, like, yo, oh, Gemini men's. And women just love talking about themselves and this and that and the mm. other. I'm like, I don't want to fit into that, bro. Mm. Become a fucking statistic. Labels. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't want that. Like, yeah. Ever since that's been stuck in my head, so I kind of like try to keep away from that. Right, because they, they'll say the Leo is the prideful, yeah. ego stuff like that. So even that is like, okay, maybe the narcissist maybe falls mm-hmm. under the Leo mm-hmm. trait, right? But I'm not one of those people who blame their zodiac signs, zodiac on, signs on their, for their uh, immature behaviors. Mm-hmm. So. Even if that's true, right? How do I, how do I stop it from happening in a negative light? Because, like I said, you could look at a, uh, somebody who, who's a narcissist, and but somebody would say, no, that person loves themselves a lot. See, that's the thing, though. It's the person that's listening. How you define it? Yep. It's the person that's listening because you, you even having a conversation with, say, you just met this person. But you've known this person for two years. Y'all, all three, I have a conversation. Mm. That person I just met, you probably think you're a narcissist. Mm. But the other person knows, like, yo, bro, this nigga barely talks about himself. Yo, bro, that's the crazy thing about it because there's this episode that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. We could always do it, but it's called uh, Point of Entry. Mm-hmm. And the Point of Entry. <laughs> I like that one. But the point play of- that game later. The, the point of- <laughs> the- <laughs> The point of entry, right, is where do you actually come into a situation? Mm-hmm. And some people may judge you based off of your their point of entry. Mm-hmm. So if I meet somebody for the first time, in like your example, and um, you know the person well enough to know, yo, it's good to hear him finally give mm-hmm. himself some praise. Mm-hmm. But my first moment of hearing that person give them their praise, mm-hmm. I may think they're cocky and shit. Mm-hmm. So my point of reference, I mean, my point of entry to that person may be one of judgment. Mm-hmm. And that's what it constantly is. I feel like we're always being judged in a sense. Now, how do you feel about um, another per- person's point of entry into your, um, to, into you? They tell another person about their experience. Now they're judging you for it. Do you feel like you deserve that <coughs> that courtesy of just hearing me out and just understanding who I am as a person? That's why it's very important to always remember mm-hmm. uh, first impressions. Mm-hmm. Always, always, you meet somebody and you, you gotta, if it's your first time meeting them or first time in a room or first time, you're always gonna be remembered mm-hmm. for that. But I think what's, what sucks in life, niggas be forgetting that we're human. Mm-hmm. So I may have a shitty day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where, like, for example, you know what type of morning I had already. Mm-hmm. You know, if that was my first time, if that was somebody's first time meeting me, mm-hmm. and he's like, damn, this nigga energy is all mm-hmm. off and shit like this that. This a dick. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you, you, you're quick to be judged in that light because 
you know, your first impression. So you only got one chance to make a first impression. So, so with that, saying you're having a bad day, I think we talked about this before, mm-hmm. not too sure. Say you're having a bad day and you think about the first impression, do you change up how you're feeling or just try to like fake it? Like how does, at how does- first, mm-hmm. At first, I would try to fake it. Mm-hmm. But it's a but that's lot not being real to you. That's not being real to yourself because True. You're not giving me. A, you're not giving me hundred percent. You, you, you. So, for example, like I tell you, we uh, the day of uh, the job interview, mm-hmm. right? I had a shitty day, mm-hmm. and I literally faked it so much that mm-hmm. I got the job. Mm-hmm. But that was just a one-time thing. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine doing that every, every day. day. You can't keep that up. Mm-hmm. So, what I would recommend or what I've started to do is actually change my actual mindset. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So like for example, I left something very important in New York. Mm-hmm. I had to fork up four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So that shit could have, you know, <laughs> put me in a stinky mood, but it's like, you know, pay for your mistakes. Yeah, That's it. Next time, cross your T's or you know, always try to cross prevent in mm-hmm. life. So I ch- I try to I've been trying to get into the habit of always swiftly changing my mood and not downing on it mm-hmm. you know I, what i'm saying because it's, it's, it's nothing i can do it's now. crazy to see you do that now because before you would just you would just sit there and sound it's like yeah it's like good a good 10 minutes just it's, yeah <sighs> and then but to now see you do like, that it's just like all right it is what it is I, what, I what's done is done i can't harbor over shit like that anymore you can't teleport yeah. you can't you can't go back yeah. in time and change shit or but, it's not like it's not like um I'm out here for a long period of time where I can say, yo, I'm going to have somebody send it. We just do it tomorrow. Now, question. What would you think about a person saying, oh, you guys have your own podcast where I talk about your own lives? Does that make you a narcissist? And I think (laughs) that's where that comes from. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So life to me is always about perspective. Mm -hmm. So in that person's view, Mm -hmm. they could say, oh, LaShawn, uh, the show is revolved around LaShawn's mm. life or whatever, whatever, whatever. Or some people can say, yo, those guys are transparent with their story. Mm. Mm. So it's what are you willing to take in? Mm. You know, even so it, to me personally, a dead clock is right twice a day. Mm. So even if in the event that at this point in time, this person was right, mm-hmm. or they may feel like the show is a little too narcissistic for it's, it's all about LaShawn. Mm-hmm. Well, how can I fix that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if it's, do I, and do I, but do I feel like I need to fix it? Or is that person's opinion so strong that we just change Changing. whatever? Mm-hmm. Nah, doing, doing that, we'll have to change everything every time. Every time. Every, criti- every piece of criticism. Oh, you guys can't curse anymore. Oh, so you, don't use Sony's anymore. Use Canon's. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like you said, it's, it's what you take in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the more negativity you take in, like, the more negative the show, the outlook of the show is going to be. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I try to, like, with a grain of salt. I, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. But I think you're wrong. And that's okay. But somebody will say, oh, you're a narcissist. Because how could you be wrong? You, can, you can't even fathom yourself being wrong in this situation. Because if, if it's regarding, like, what I'm doing and what, like say it's a show, photography, whatever we're doing, it's like, bro, in all honesty, I hear what you're saying, but I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. Like, does that make me a narcissist? Well, fuck it. But is that? But it's not, it's not, a, being a narcissist isn't really a bad thing. It's like, you cannot be like that 24 seven though. Yeah, you gotta I, have I, a heart. I feel like there's like a, a, conf, a little bit of confusion when people hear like narcissists, like mm-hmm. even, but oh, even that comment, that comment, oh, LA just, Oh, it's, everything's about him. No. I love myself, so I, I make sure I, I give myself the love that I need. Mm. Is it sometimes where I can be sel- selfish with my time or selfish with my space? Yeah. That's not me being a narcissist. That's me loving myself and knowing my energy and the energies I want to be around. You know what's crazy? It actually says, uh, I actually clicked uh, to go deeper in the definition. Mm-hmm. It's a personality disorder. Okay, I, yeah, that's OD, yeah, that's OD. <laughs> it's a personality, a personality disorder that involves a pattern of self-centered, arrogant thinking and behavior, a lack of empathy and consideration for other people, yeah, that's bold, and an yeah. excessive need for admiration. Other 
Others often describe people with NPD as cocky. <laughs> it even has an acronym. NPD. NPD. Yeah, I, manipulative, I, selfish, prioritizing, and <laughs> Oh, my son. <laughs> that, the manipulative part is over. I'm already lost there. <laughs> so now that we go deeper into mm-hmm. the definition. I, right? I, I see how much of that I'm not. Exactly. Yeah, so. You know what I'm saying? But let's just play around. It's, it's, it's crazy that one person's opinion can really, like. Affect you. Affect you. Like, it's like, it's not too. It's not that it's it's correct, but, like, yo, you really see me like that? Like, yeah, that's the. Yeah, yeah. Like, is that, are you the only person that sees me like that? Now, now, That's now right. you have to. So yeah. boom, it's like, I. Right, well, let me see. Mm-hmm. So let's say this person is like fifth place in my life mm-hmm. or fifth tier, not fifth mm-hmm. place, fifth mm-hmm. tier, mm-hmm. maybe six. Mm-hmm. Let me see how the people in tier two and tier one mm-hmm. feel mm-hmm. because then it's like, okay, if the outside feel like that who mm-hmm. cares but the people on the inside mm-hmm. now it's like oh okay let me figure out if that's true that's why that was so important now my thing is <laughs> what if you come to find out it is true how do you change that because in your mind it's like it's normal that's well you have to leave room for people to talk to you mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like well that that if i'm a true narcissist mm-hmm. I won't receive that. You won't, yeah, you won't be able to even hear that. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? I'm the shit, nigga. Mm-hmm. Fuck is you talking about? Mm-hmm. You better get like me. And as, as funny that you, you read the definition and everything, there's more narcissistic people in my life than I thought. Mm. Like, the whole, the ignorance, like, yo, I'm always right. And it's like, even with you, somebody saying that's, that's you, you honestly, well, off air probably, and on air, like, yo, I, I was wrong in certain situations. You know, that's crazy. I actually, that is an episode. What? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Like, yo. <laughs> we've done an episode where there was just women talking to us. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the women that was on the episode. And shout out to the young, 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 young sister that's um, getting engaged, married. Um, shout out to Renee. So, like, shit like that. Like, I'm around, I've been around people where there was no I'm wrong, my fault. A narcissistic person will have a hard ass time saying I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Accepting their flaws and faults. A narcissistic person will not hear, yo, what? I look amazing right now. This is an amazing fit. Mm. What? You don't dress like, yo, shit like that. It's like, yo, <coughs> that's a narcissist to me. Mm-hmm. There's no wrong. Like. Mm. Now, like I said, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not too big on labeling people, mm-hmm. but labeling ways. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a little narcissist. Mm-hmm. I won't call a person. You really got to be that like 22 hours of the day, seven days a week for me to even label. Like even in your sleep, it's all about you, mm-hmm. right? But I do feel like I have some of those ways in my dating experiences, <laughs> but not in a negative, like not in a manipulative, you know, notion mm-hmm. but i am a little needy <laughs> you know what i'm saying i do like to have you know my woman whoever i'm dating to to adore me now i don't mean prince uh, Haim or whatever homie name is hakeem or hakeem whatever. Yeah, nigga, nigga, watch come to america <laughs> don't judge me i never saw coming to america but um I don't need that. I don't need my the royal. Don't penis. don't say don't sing my grace. Don't. Mm-hmm. Don't praise my. Don't praise me. Yeah, that, so I, don't I don't need, need that. all of that. But of course, but like, wouldn't words of affirmation be mm-hmm. like the positive light of singing somebody's praises? Mm-hmm. So if I'm a narcissist, that would just ego boost me. Mm-hmm. But what if I really need that in this relationship? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, uh, I'm phrasing, mm-hmm. but we've been affirming each other for, mm-hmm. for a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it means more hearing it from you than somebody else mm-hmm. because you know what it, watch what it the, takes. Watch the growth. Mm-hmm. You know what it's that to, mm-hmm. but you know what it entails to do this on a, mm-hmm. on a high level. Mm-hmm. So if Don is giving me a, a compliment mm-hmm. and he's affirming me mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, that's boosting my ego, but that's also giving me a confidence push 
that maybe a person who does not understand mm. this, you know, means. So do I do I need that every time I put out work, Don has to sing my praises, or it doesn't matter, mm. or I feel like it's not the same? No. That's but. scary. That's scary. Mm. Feeling like you need that every. That's. Damn, is that? Is that not, it, did, the, I feel like you need that, and. In the in the creative realm that we we work in, it's like sometimes you need that to know that you're on the right path. What I was gonna say now is that's what is now equivalent to gas me up. Okay. So now you, you not you per se mm -hmm. like regular, your shorty be like, yo, I need my man to gas me up. Mm -hmm. Does that make her a narcissist, or does or is she just asking me to pour praise. in her okay. or affirm her in ways? You know what I'm saying? This is Most a, women want a princess I'm treatment, I'm right? triggered. <laughs> I'm Most triggered. women want princess treatment. <laughs> Some people could be like, well, my shorty's a narcissist, because mm -hmm. what is a princess, essentially? Mm -hmm. A spoiled brat mm -hmm. who has a kingdom, who... Mm -hmm. who Not who's, people who are weighing on her hand and foot. Well. Come on. Mm -hmm. So we, we could, I feel like people may have, like, tendencies mm -hmm. or ways, but to label somebody a whole fucking personality mm -hmm. disorder that's bizarre well, that's excuse wild excuse me dr mm -hmm. phil mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying let me see your phd <laughs> <coughs> that's just i i don't know i don't like i don't like that i don't like that word yeah i never liked that are, word words are powerful man i never words liked that even even hearing that word when i was younger like my my friend would call my cousin like, yo you're a narcissist bro really and i just didn't understand what it meant i'm mm -hmm. like oh, like in my mind, it was just the word selfish. It was just another way of saying for saying selfish. Mm -hmm. And I was just mm -hmm. like, yo, I don't, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But hearing that, even hearing it now, like, I, I after he told me that, I had to sit after after we had that phone conversation. Mm -hmm. I sat down. I was like, yo, does he really feel like that? Is he like that? And I'm thinking of every certain scenario we've been in. I was like, yo, bro, for a person to sacrifice their time, gas, do certain shit. Even uh, even uh, air, it's like yo, nah, I don't, I don't see that. Mm. A narcissist person won't even do that. Like, nah, I don't got time for that today. Don't come to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, but like, uh, one of one of the things, uh, one of the words that they used in this definition is a lack of empathy and consideration for other people. Mm -hmm. Shit, sometimes I feel like that's my own, you know, mm -hmm. fault. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometime, maybe I need to be a little bit more narcissistic mm -hmm. when it comes to that because I take, sometimes I take people's problems as my own mm -hmm. or, you know, I'm too busy trying to solve everybody's problems mm -hmm. when I'm not a mathematician. Why do you feel like you have to? Because for me personally, I always feel like I want to be a help in somebody's life. Is that narcissistic? Maybe. Like you always have to be a role. That's like that's something. like that's like that 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 guy, that nah baby you don't got paid bills I paid the bills no you don't got to work, so now you got to wait on me hand and foot to get anything you want. Mm. That's a see, narcissist. That, see, that's see, narcissistic. Yeah, that's a form of manipulation mm -hmm. too. No baby, I I, I <laughs> yeah you, yeah we going Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going Dutch. <laughs> you or, lay on the left side, I lay on the right. You know what I'm saying? Or we or we help each other hand in mm -hmm. hand. I, you don't got to listen if I got you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, but yeah. <laughs> yeah she like that, though. That's a narcissist to me. Like, yeah, you have to I, be... I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I mean, we've all choked about, you know, me low-key uh, or having manipulative ways, but mm -hmm. to that high level, I, I would check myself. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... And you have a problem, bro. Like, you, yeah, 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 you, yeah. you, you want to be wanted, like... But... <clears throat> it I've had my moments where I've wanted to be wanted mm -hmm. by certain people. And they didn't want you back in that way. What and did that, that do to your ego? Perfect word. That ego, it, uh, well, it depends what phase in my life. Mm -hmm. At a younger phase, my younger years, it was very, uh, dark. Like, mm -hmm. I would never say I was, uh, suicidal in that vein, but it was like, you get so dependent on, somebody or whatever the case may be you feel like you need them or you constantly yearning for them mm -hmm. so you know you may take that hit mm -hmm. but uh in my older age now if i'm ever in that position where i want something or want somebody and they don't want me back to that capacity 
you know, you dust it off. You know, you make you, it's, you're, you're human. As men, we have to realize we're human, so mm -hmm. it's okay to have emotions. And you ask yourself certain questions like why, but then you realize like, you know, things in life happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, you gotta stop chasing people who, who don't want you and accept the things and people who do mm -hmm. in the proper way that you see fit because just because somebody wants you doesn't mean that they're good for you, mm. you know? And I also realized that about myself too. I may want something or someone, right? Mm -hmm. But you get, you, you get with them and you experience them and it's like, nah, I'm no good for them. Mm. So you just wanted whatever you wanted them for in that moment or whatever desires you had, you finally fulfill it but then it's just nothing more after that. So it's truly, you you, you got your high, but it's not a high that you wanted. So, so now you, what? You, you move on to the next one. Right, but what happens to the person you want? You see, so sometimes when shit doesn't work out, sometimes it's good that certain things are left unknown or mm. you don't know why this happened mm. in a sense. So, when things don't work out for me in, in those type of ways or experiences, mm. I just leave it, whatever, whatever reason. It wasn't for me to know. It's better off that way. Well, another thing, even though I'm in a relationship, same way, to being wanted though, I try not to, I gotta, that's one thing I gotta stop doing because I think that's one of my ways. That might be one of my ways as well. Even when my lady about to get up and do something, I got you. You gotta get up, I got you. Mm. I got you, I got you. Like, I'm, it's not that like I wait on her hand and foot, it's more of, I like to be wanted a little bit. What you mean? Elaborate on that. Like, I don't want to just, like, I don't want to end up ha like feeling like I'm, this is my roommate, like. Mm. So I try to like do certain things, like the princess treatment. Mm. But I'm noticing it's getting like too, too intense to the point where. Or too fatherly. Yes, that, hell yeah, because I call myself Tucker, huh? And I, like, I said, yeah. <laughs> for, for those, yo, you a sucker. I was trying to play Call of Duty. So yeah, I tuck in a little bit, a little tight, like a, like a croissant. And it's tuck wrapped up. But even that, and it was like, yo, you doing this because you genuinely love her. You do yeah. love her, but are you doing this to, like, satisfy yourself? Mm. Damn, you preaching. <laughs> like, are you doing this shit to satisfy yourself? And it's are like, you checking a box? Yeah, like, oh, she, all right, boom. Like, uh, like, she's calling you daddy, but you're really not her dad. Like, mm. please call me by my name now. Like, mm. that's one thing I have to check because I call her, like, trying to open something. She's like, mm -hmm, mm. I walked up to her, I was like, you could have done that. Mm. No, nah, but you just like helping me. I'm going to stop that now. But see, I think as men, mm -hmm. When we really get like a, a woman that we really, really love, mm -hmm. right? I feel like I'm touching on all the episodes that I wrote down. <laughs> but, um. So good, we get into them. I'm when, we, when we get a woman we really love, mm -hmm. we have to find a way to provide mm -hmm. without stripping them away from their independence. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I do want to help you. I do want to give the princess mm -hmm. treatment. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Instead of giving you princess treatment, maybe I need to give you queen treatment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yeah, as soon as you walk, did you eat? Did you, did you sleep? Mm -hmm. get, get some rest. This, that, and third. And it's like, yo, relax. But you're doing it just out of, you know, I genuinely want to make mm -hmm. sure you're good. Mm -hmm. But in a way where it's like, I, there's no clear cut way because every relationship is different. Mm -hmm. But... That comes over time with understanding your partner, who, who she is mm. and what she needs and how you can provide that because mm. you will look back at it and be like, damn, son, I've never was like this in a relationship and mm -hmm. I tried my hardest mm -hmm. and it's still fair, mm -hmm. right? Or some people would try again. Mm -hmm. So in, in, and I guess that comes with the communication of like, what do you need? Mm -hmm. from me and then I provide that because yeah I feel like when I'm in a relationship mm -hmm. or when it's when I'm fresh fresh mm -hmm. I am checking off boxes mm -hmm. Yo, did you eat did you have a good day mm -hmm. how was work 
talk about the gossip you, of your job. You know, you know what it is. It's the um, making them feel secure. Mm. Making them feel secure and make yourself feel secure to the point where you know uh, I'm being a, I'm being a good partner. And so here's the thing, right? I know the, sh the show is called What's a Good Guy, mm -hmm. but then when you kind of force mm -hmm. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. being a good guy, mm -hmm. when you force it, you try to be a, the best representative mm -hmm. all the time, that's when it's no longer true to yourself. That's, not, that's when you're not a good guy. Question, do you feel like you ever had pressure because of the show? This is the name of the show, over it. Oh. Like you had no, no. No ability to be like, be the bad guy. Because the world is watching. Socially, yes. Romantically, uh, well, I may mention that uh, a person threw it in my face, but. I hope so. <laughs> I wish it was that way opposed to the other way, but nah, you know, you kind of. Um, do I feel pressure? No, no in a sense, because like I said, the show is a question. Mm -hmm. We're only asking a question. And that's the saving grace. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever sat there and said, yo, I'm the good guy mm -hmm. with this, that, and the third. I'm, I'm an evolving person, though. Mm -hmm. There are moments where I want a, a romantic relationship, mm -hmm. and there are moments where I just want a physical one. Mm -hmm. You know, does that make me any less of whatever, whatever? But that, that goes with the labeling. Mm -hmm. And what most people do when they label you they add their definition to it. Mm. So whatever their definition is to a good guy, you know, Webster can have his own definition, but they'll add their definition, they'll yeah. add their feelings to it. That's fine, but I don't have to live up to that definition. And that's where the communication also comes in. And then it also comes in, who the fuck is labeling me? Mm -hmm. If I don't care, if I... If, what, give, if you, what gives you the fucking right? You, you know, you know who I, well, how I start? gauging people's opinions. Mm -hmm. If they die, am I going to their funeral? If the answer is no, I don't give a fuck. You're not that important in my life. At all. At all. That's, so that's how I, that's how I receive. You feel, like, you feel like, I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you feel like that's too intense? Like some people. Maybe, but it's a, it's a calm balance. Mm -hmm. It's a calm balance of like over caring and two attempts. Okay. So it's kind of like if somebody say, yo, that outfit is trash. Mm -hmm. Before I get upset. Do they got Paco jeans on? If, if this person <laughs> dies tomorrow, mm -hmm. am I going to their funeral? Mm -hmm. No? I right, well, keep it pushing. They don't matter. They don't I, matter. They don't matter enough for me to even exert that energy. I feel like with that, I wouldn't take a person's opinion or criticism to heart if one they don't follow their own their own fucking shit mm. their own advice mm. or they're not following through with actually they don't take criticism well themselves mm. so mm. even with that it's like i kind of brush it off because even with um criticism from people i don't even know or opinions from people i don't know i listen to it mm. but i tell myself yo bro is it worth really like Taking, taking heed of what that person is saying. Mm -hmm. So I, it's very wishy-washy. It depends. It depends on the criticism or the opinion. No, I feel that. I feel that. So essentially, when it comes to like being a narcissist, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm one. But it was interesting to hear that mm -hmm. and maybe why that person felt that way. And based off of their definition, mm -hmm. I could understand why they, how they would feel that way. If they're going based off of the content of the show, mm -hmm. right? But then you also have to understand too, it took a while for you to even be this transparent. Mm -hmm. So if, and that's no, that's no slight to you because everybody has their journey. Mm -hmm. But if you're not ready to share anything mm -hmm. or I share way more than you would ever share, mm -hmm. then that doesn't take away from you. That, mm -hmm. that doesn't make me or whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. but it worked mm -hmm. because there's always a conversation to be had. Mm -hmm. And some of the times, or most of the times, I even have these uh, conversations where, yes, an audience is listening. I do kind of want your insight mm -hmm. on, on what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, we, like we reflected earlier, the show 
came about us having regular life conversations. Mm. So this is regularly what we would talk mm. about. On, Without cameras. Online, or, or, <laughs> or, 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 or in front of a camera or behind a camera. Even on fucking Call of Duty, it don't fucking matter. It, it don't matter. These regular conversations are mm. gonna be had. Mm. So yeah, it's, um, but I don't think by the grace of God, I've, uh, I don't think I've encountered too many narcissists. Mm. I think my, my energy kind of rebels against that yeah. anyway, in the sense of like, I get uncomfortable. And whenever I'm uncomfortable, I, I just distance myself. And you always say you don't like one-sided um, relationships, so. No, I don't. I so don't. A, imagine, imagine you have something to talk about and a person switches yeah. it and talks about themselves. You're already turned off by that, so yeah, you probably yeah. kicked that narcissist out your life. You didn't, even, you didn't even really notice it was yeah. a narcissist. Yeah, so, so even that, when things are one-sided, it's kind of like, you people got to learn where they can carry their weight. Mm. So I would never go to the gym and try to outwork out mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. because I know you can, at this current stage, lift way more mm -hmm. at a faster pace than mm -hmm. I can, right? Mm -hmm. But what I can do is work out with you. Mm -hmm. So, or go with you. Mm -hmm. So people have to figure out <laughs> what roles they fit in, 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 in the game plan and that is, is tough because you could go from being the head of the show, mm -hmm. right? But go on another show, mm -hmm. and you maybe only getting two, three words in and you feel mm -hmm. like you're not important because you're not talking as much. Mm -hmm. But does this new role need you to speak mm -hmm. that much? And people have a hard time adapting to their role, which is another episode. You gotta, but, you gotta, you gotta stick to the script, man. But see, a narcissist will de deviate you, from it. How do you tell a narcissist you're not the main character? You can't, because that narcissist wouldn't stay there. I'm not, they wouldn't accept being number two when they mm. feel like they're number one. Mm. And but see, as a as a man, that ego, that ego trip of what you think you you are in reality to what life says you are, mm -hmm. or where you, or sometimes people act. Which may be a form of manif manifestation, but who knows? So people may act like they already made it. Mm -hmm. And yes, you may try to manifest that into your life. Cool. But I, it also comes with the integrity behind it. Like, yeah, yeah. What's, what's fueling it? What's leading this? Like, I tell you, uh, the other day I'm at the gas station, and I'm in such a rush mm -hmm. that I almost put diesel in my car. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not until I was about to pay right mm -hmm. where i'm like oh shit but i almost fucked my whole shit up mm -hmm. you know so sometimes you just you know you trying to get somewhere mm -hmm. but you're not paying attention to where you are now mm -hmm. that can fuck you up oh. like, I, like even now the sd card that i was supposed to bring with me i mm -hmm. left it home because i'm I'm thinking, I'm already thinking ahead like mm -hmm. where i'm supposed to go and I'm episode not focusing where, where i'm at so focusing where you're at sometimes can av can avoid those type of narcissistic attitudes mm -hmm. or the need to, you know what I'm saying? I do feel like you could take some of those ways mm -hmm. and make it a positive. And mold like, it. You can mold yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> nah. Have some, some more admiration to yourself. Give yourself some credit. Big yourself up. Like the other day, it was Tim's birthday. Mm -hmm. And um, him and I talk from time to time. And I feel like he does really great work. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but the way sometimes he talks, I'm like, it's weird people work that you admire mm -hmm. and you think that shit is dope. Mm -hmm. And then when you hear them talk about their own work, mm -hmm. it's like, yo, how could you, the creative eyes are weird mm -hmm. because what they see and what I see is obviously two different things mm -hmm. where it's like, damn, I want to learn how to do that. And they're like, damn, this is not good enough. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, now you need to, a little bit you don't need to be cocky mm -hmm. but be proud you can be boastful a, but you don't have to that's be a, arrogant that's a that's a, balance, that's a that's a that's a hard balance to come by that's a hard balance to come by because sometimes mm. even with like seeing like you 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 would be like i, I fucked this shit up but in the same breath you'd be like could have done better with this mm -hmm. this this color could have been brighter i feel like that's a balance with people that are humble with what they do 
um, you want you want to let the world know that yo, bro, I really do like this is what I do. This is my shit. Like mm-hmm. even with the Kanye shit, I was like, yo, bro, like this shit is hard. But in the back of my mind, it's like yo, I need a new lens because I could have did this shit way better with a different lens. Mm-hmm. So just finding that balance. Even with um, you even said um, be careful what's drip was driving you. Yeah. Because if it's something negative, those ne- negative tendencies and that and that mindset can. Fuck over a lot of relationships you're you're gonna meet see, down the if line. You're, if you're a narcissist, though, <laughs> mm-hmm. how do you even view that as a negative? How can you see? It? How can you see it at all? Yeah. Because if somebody tells you, you still won't see it. Or if everything's centered around you, you don't care what leaves as long as you're still the center. I can't. I can't. It's one of those get with it, get lost type of <clears throat> mentality. So, truthfully, mm-hmm. just to wrap it up, it's like. I do feel like people have, everybody has that a tendency mm-hmm. or moments where you want, it's my birthday, mm-hmm. right? Say it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. I want to be a little nice. Yeah, I ain't going to find my birthday. Everything. It's, it's my birthday. I want everything to be, I want to be the center of everybody's attention, mm-hmm. even though I hate that. I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't like that shit. But there are moments mm-hmm. where like on somebody's birthday, mm-hmm. you kind of want, or, 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 your relationship or your anniversary. Mm-hmm. I want to have that moment where, you know, we, you celebrating me, I'm celebrating, celebrating you, mm-hmm. you know? So it's, it's, it's how you label things and when you're doing certain things that defines you. I don't think sometimes these general words are too broad of a brush when you need to take your time in certain areas. So you may say, yo, you're acting like one or this is a little narcissistic, mm-hmm. but to just, Call somebody that is, is wicked, bro. Without any fucking references or anything yeah, like that. With, no, oh, no. Without really knowing somebody. Mm-hmm. But like I said, you always got to be careful with your uh, with your uh, first impressions because even with that, I, I to to reflect is like, yo, what was when when was the what was their first impression of me? Was it in that moment, or was it because I was too standoffish? Or maybe because I'm sitting in a corner, not around everybody, or people are coming to me opposed to me coming to them. You know, you gotta figure those moments out. But at the same time, you know, I always feel like you should take the time to get to know somebody before mm-hmm. you cast judgment. Mm-hmm. But we live in a world where that's yeah, I, niggas, I, niggas judge you before they even see you. I'm I'm in the certain under, understanding and certain things in life. It has to be this way because that's just how life mm-hmm. works. You know what I'm saying? If it was like that in the 1500s, mm. 1600s, 1700s, mm. it's not changing in the 21st or 22nd mm. century. It's not. It's history is going to repeat itself. People, people don't. People, things don't change. They just evolve. Mm. You know, it gets worse or maybe it gets better, but it, it, it's uh, up and down. So, those certain things, I'm not going to waste my uh, wishing on a star. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm judging a lot of people that I, that I've been around that have those ways, but um, I hope they they've evolved from those ways because if you're like that, a lot of people are not gonna stay with you for too long. Yeah. Unless they're those people that want to be needed. But then when you when you when you dig deep, right, mm-hmm. and you you um the the reason for being needed, mm-hmm. right. That probably or wanted. Is, or wanted. wanted. That's a that's a deep. That may be too deep mm-hmm. for a convo. Mm-hmm. That may stem from somewhere where mm-hmm. you like their childhood neglect. Or neglect. Mm-hmm. What, what what did they miss out on mm-hmm. or, or who didn't love them hard enough mm-hmm. and those are scary conversations in Sheesh. itself. Yeah. So it's kinda like, are you even prepared for that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So even that, you never know what traumas may have dug under the surface of somebody. Mm-hmm. So we could deal with traumas on the outer, like, mm-hmm. yo, I could tell you hurting. Mm-hmm. But the real traumas are the ones that I can't see. Mm-hmm. You know, you want... That's one that's well hidden. Or so buried within you. You don't remember that shit. You don't, it's not that you don't remember, it's a part of you, so it mm-hmm. feels natural. You know, this is just the way I am. You know what I'm saying? Well, why? Where did that come from? What does that stem from? You know what I'm saying? 
those moments where you know your parents work all day mm. they come home mm. they're tired but mm. you want to play but you feel neglected mm -hmm. you want somebody to want you or or Jeez. you have you, your first quote unquote real relationship you get cheated on mm. so you, now you you deal with, how do you deal with that how do you grow from that mm. you know those is those are those deeper level traumas that we don't heal from or you grow up and you, you your best friend gets killed mm. you know so now you you get violence with violence because you can't have that happen to you or you seeing somebody or you get start hurt like or that. you start fucking with people because you don't want that to happen to anybody else around you you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> shit like that gets deep really fast mm. really quick and i don't think us as humans we take the time to assess that we we deal off of the first instinct mm. or first reaction and then then try to figure it out but by then you know if you misjudge somebody or you misdiagnose somebody if i go to a doctor and they misdiagnose them i don't give a fuck how long they've been in school you mm -hmm. made a mistake on my life i'm never trusting you again mm -hmm. you know so when you misjudge people you know don't feel like you're gonna have the same access to them again so take your time and before you start giving somebody fucking personality disorders and <laughs> shit like that man <laughs> yeah, that's intense. I ain't on front. Nah, yeah. good episode. That's a great episode. I can't lie, but that that this hearing that was like it was a bus head. Like I, I don't know if you understand. You heard my tone in the, on the phone. I was just mad lost. Like facts. Nah, but he, see, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. Like it, it don't matter to me if the person's tier six. Mm. That, like I said, if if I judge shit based off of. If this person was passed away, would I go to a funeral? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, if Don passed away, mm -hmm. I'm going to be at his funeral. Mm -hmm. I need to find out if this is really true. You know what I'm saying? And if it's so, why do you feel like that? Mm -hmm. What can I change? I'm willing to, if that is, if something you felt, or, or maybe that's something you didn't have the, uh, or you didn't have the opportunity to say it at that moment. <coughs> well, now the opportunity's here. Let's talk about it. But if you don't feel like that way, mm -hmm. and that's all that matters, that's the I, I don't care if tier <laughs> six feels that way, if, if my tier one person fit, does it, you know? So that too, you know, I trust certain people to keep it real with me. I know mm -hmm. who to ask mm -hmm. about certain things to keep it real with me and not protect my feelings mm -hmm. because one, I've already checked my ego, and two, and two, um, let them pass. And two, you know, I've already positioned myself to, if that person does feel like this, mm. be receptive to mm. it. I'm not a fan of. Depending, depending on how you, the person says it. Well, nah, not even not not even, in that moment. I'm prepared for anything. Okay. But that's because I'm prepared for it. Mm -hmm. I'm not caught off guard. Mm -hmm. Or even if I'm caught off guard, maybe it's a little bit more than I thought would mm -hmm. be said. But even if I'm fully prepared. But other moments, nah, I'm 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 cool. I'm cool. Those other people don't matter. So yeah, just be mm -hmm. careful how you diagnose with how you diagnose people, mm -hmm. you know, based off of your personal feelings and impression of them. But yeah, we'll wrap up. <laughs> Wait till they leave, sir. Mm-hmm. Wait till you leave to um, say, okay. It's that click clacking and all that moving, <laughs> jobbing around shit and make too much fucking noise. All right. <clears throat> you already know this, motherfuckers. It's Don Peasley. Follow me at Don the Camera Guy dot com. Don the Camera Guy on Instagram and Don Peasley on Twitter. You can follow me at Stay Focus LA on Instagram and Twitter. What's a Good Guy comes out every Monday at 8 a.m. on uh, What's a Good Guy dot com. All your DSPs and YouTube. Except for SoundCloud. Except for SoundCloud. <laughs> no more SoundCloud. Uh, man, until next week. Stay frosty, beloved. God is good, baby.